A particle slide on the surface of a fixed smooth sphere is starting from the topmost point. Find the angle rotated by the radius through the particle when it leaves contact with the sphere. The particle is start its motion from the top of the sphere with zero speed. At a certain point it leaves off the sphere. Up to that point its motion was purely circular and when it leaves the sphere its motion is motion under gravity. So its path as we know is parabolic. At the instant when the particle leaves off the sphere the radius vector rotates clockwise theta angle and the height descended by the particle is h h plus r cos theta equal to r implies h equals r 1 minus cos theta this is equation number 1 the motion of particle from a to b is circular at B, the particle left the surface of a sphere as it leaves the sphere, its motion under gravity. Hence, after B, its path is parabolic. At B, as it leaves the surface, n equals to 0. Normal force N is the force on the particle by the surface of a sphere which vanished as the particle leaves the sphere, so N equal to 0. At the point it leaves the sphere, the normal force is 0, that is N equal to 0. The force on the particle is mg which is directed downward and its component along center is mg cos theta. Net force uh, toward the toward center toward center mg cos theta minus n equals mv square by r n being zero as it leaves the surface of a sphere, which implies mg cos theta equals to mv square by r m m cancelled out this implies v square equal to gr cos theta this is equation number two as the spheres come down its total mechanical energy will be conserved mechanical energy we know sum of kinetic and potential energy so the gain in kinetic energy as the particle comes down will be will come at the expense of potential energy from conservation of mechanical energy mechanical energy gain in kinetic energy equals to loss in potential energy that is half m square the gain in kinetic energy equals to mg h is the height descended by the particle so put the value of h r 1 minus cos theta this implies v square equals 2 g r 1 minus cos theta So v square equal to 2 gr 1 minus cos theta and from the previous equation from equation v square was equal to gr cos theta from these two equation we have gr cos theta equals to 2 gr 1 minus cos theta which implies gr gr will cancelled out
cos theta equals to 2 minus 2 cos theta which implies cos theta equals to 2 by 3 so this is the value of the cosine of the angle descent rotated by the radius vector now h equal to putting the value of cos theta in the expression for h r 1 minus cos theta equals to r 1 minus 2 by 3 that equal to r by 3 